excited to be here. Um, I'm supposed to be here talking about myself, who I am, so I can introduce you to what I believe in and how I joined Neolife. I'm going to digress first, because that's what I do when I'm compassionate about something, I digress. Um, so yesterday, I actually showed up to the conference. I was gotten like four hours of sleep, and I showed up to the conference tired. And initially, Jessica had asked me what song I wanted for when I walked up. And I said, oh, whatever is easiest is fine, you know. And then within an hour of being here, I actually was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. And like, everyone's so passionate. And I went over to Jessica and I said, can you play the Rocky theme song? And she was like, OK. And then I was like, well, to me, this is in honor of you guys. Because what really strikes me as amazing is that within an hour of being here, I could see that you guys were fighters and soldiers against chronic disease, that you guys are champions of health and wellness. So if we can just start by giving yourselves a round of applause, because you guys are awesome. For a doctor who really believes in health and wellness, it's heartwarming to see. So I'm going to start off um, talking a little bit about myself. And I know John went over my credentials a little bit already. And I think the best way to really talk about what matters to me is my passion project, which is my integrated medicine clinic in San Jose, California. So um, I actually um, started the clinic about 10 years ago. And when you ask, like, what is integrative medicine? A lot of doctors, conventional doctors, they call integrative medicine a combination of conventional and alternative medicine. And what that means to them is that what I do is alternative. And what is it that I do? I actually help patients use nutrition and nutrients and herbal supplements that have clinical research behind them to help patients achieve their health goals. And to them, that's alternative. But I think we all know here that that's not alternative. That's actually foundational medicine, right? It's, it's actually common sense medicine, right? It's really just logical, right? Like, our bodies are machines first and foremost. And what you fuel it with 100% impacts how your health is. And so if we're not going to feed it the right things, if we're nutrient depleted, of course it can't run as well. Of course there's going to be disease. So, to me, what's really interesting is, is that over the years, I've seen a lot of my patients move forward and really spread this good news to other people. And so fast forward 10 years, like 10 years ago, I couldn't get doctors to talk to me. Like I would call them up and be like, hey, can we talk about the care of this patient? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, get off the phone. Now, 10 years later, um, I have doctors from Stanford referring me patients for oncology, cardiology, neurology, and it's not because of me, it's because of my patients. They really did all the work in really getting healthy, doing the work, and then they go out there and spread the good news, right? They really talk about what it is that's helped them to get there between the nutritional changes, lifestyle changes, taking the nutrient depletions and fixing that. And as they've done that, what's interesting is over the years, doctors now are actually saying, okay, that works, because I can't placebo that many people, right? I'm not that good. So, um, so when these patients are all doing really well, what ends up happening is, is that they're like, okay, there may be something behind this. And so over the years now, I've had the pleasure of actually seeing a lot of patients. Um, because they are doing so well and they are such strong believers, I now see families where I see the grandparents, the patient, the kids. I see now like church groups of women. I see like communities of people. And they're really good about promoting this. So so much of the education in my community and, and helping people to understand this kind of medicine really is because of my patients. And so I really thank them for that. And as they really are becoming more and more passionate and they're healthier and they're able to go out and really share this news and teach others, they'll come in and talk to me and, and ask me questions about it so they can learn and teach other people. Um, and so, you know, Dwight knows from dinner last night, like once I start talking, I mean, you can't get me to stop. So um, I'm like, you sure you really want me to answer that? But they'll come in and ask me questions about education. And, and, you know, there's a lot more research nowadays than there used to be. So, you know, there's even studies like where they took patients with acute flares of rheumatoid arthritis, which are autoimmune diseases that really have your body attacking your joints. And they took these patients and they broke them into two groups. And one group got prednisone, which is like a really strong anti-inflammatory medication with all these side effects. And then another group would get, you know, just a healthy diet. A lot of vegetables, eating super clean, and the outcomes were similar. In this study, it showed that Mother Nature, if you just eat her food and eat the right foods and you're nutritious, it actually has similar impact to these medications that have side effects. Over the years, there's been a lot more research, I think, because there's a supply and demand thing where like now more people are aware and they're really wanting to know this. So research is growing and I'm a big fan of research. So um, 
We now know things like selenium can help shut down Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune thyroid disease. We also know that things like alpha-lipoic acid can help with retinal um, health as well as diabetes. Um, there are medications you know, that they use for this disease called complex regional pain syndrome, which is when your nerves kind of go nuts in the body and they don't really know what to do with that. But they also now know, even at Stanford, that acetyl-L-carnitine can help with that. So there's a lot more research now. This is, you know, I, I'm really grateful that over the years of me practicing um, and going from when people didn't want to talk to me to now, and there's a lot more research now. So I'm really, really pro forwarding and, and promoting research in this area because as we all know here, this kind of mes medicine is necessary because it's the thing that really helps people get well and be truly, truly healthy. Um, I think the thing is, you know, moving forward, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'm here today. I mean, obviously, as you can see from my clinic, there's so much that mimics what you guys do here. There's generational support. There's people who are really passionate about this, um, people who want to further research and get the good word out. So um, I'm going to tell a funny story. John gave me the uh, OK to tell the story. But um, a couple years ago, I was doing a lot of national TV, been on Dr. Oz, and did uh, magazines and stuff like that. So that was getting a lot of random calls into my clinic. And my clinic is like my sacred place. I really want to just practice medicine in there and make sure that it's for my patients. So my medical assistants have gotten really, really good at blocking um, outside calls and, and media calls and things that are not related to the clinic. So apparently, John had tried really hard to get in contact with me, and he couldn't. So, he, um, so um, he posed as a patient, and so he came into my clinic. <laughs> Relentless, I love that. <laughs> so, um, so he came in as a patient, and I usually say to the patient when they first come in, like, how can I help you? So he sat down, I was like, how can I help you? He's like, actually, I'm here to talk about Neo Life. And I was like, what? You know? <laughs> and so he starts going on and on about the company, and he's like, we have research, we're really into high quality products, and we, you know, we really want to talk to you about this. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, give me the information, I'll look at it. So um, so I took a look at it, I was like, oh, like they really care about quality. They really care about research. And it's interesting because some of the stuff they're using, like I use with my patients. So I was like, okay, well, you know. And he's like, how about let's have dinner with Kendra and Simon? I was like, okay. You know, so I show up and we start talking. And then the cool part is, then they start telling me the other aspects of NeoLife. Like it's an international, they do this whole systems community support aspect where it's, you know, helping com economically and giving the tools for people to actually get the tools to be healthy, giving you guys educational compound, you know, components so that you can actually learn and then teach other people. So I was like, okay, this is really cool. I love that whole systems approach because we all know when people are healthy, wealthy, and happy, then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good. I can go help other people because I'm not worried about the fact that I can't get out of bed. I'm not worried about the fact that I can't pay my bills. Now they're like, you can totally focus on getting that good news out to other people. And I see that a lot in my clinic. When patients are now healthy, they're so much more able to go out and explain and, and teach and spread the good word about healthy living. Um, so I was like, okay, well, that's really cool. Like, I would love to actually get to know this company more. So I signed on um, thinking, okay, well, I'll keep learning. And people now ask me, like, what is the thing that I love the most about NeoLife? So um, it's actually that as I started meeting more people in NeoLife, um, you know how people nowadays when they work, they're like, oh, I work at this company for like a year or two. And then they're like, oh, I'm done. Let me go somewhere else. And then I come in, and I'm like, oh, you're here for decades? Oh, OK. <laughs> like, and you're still passionate? OK. And then yesterday even, I was like, wow, there's like generations here. I was like, that's weird. But like in a really good way, right, obviously. <laughs> so, but I think the thing that speaks to me about this company then is that for that to happen where people are here for generations, you grow up in this company, you're here for decades, and you're still passionate, there has to be this level of mutual love and respect and support and caring. And that's the part that I love actually the most about NeoLife because in so many ways, that's how a company does well, and that's how we promote health and wellness. Like, if it weren't for my patients feeling passionate and continuing to push on, even in the face of people saying, I don't really believe that, there's no way that this message can get across. It's not even, it's beyond my clinic, it's beyond the company. It's the fact that this type of medicine is important. Foundational medicine is important, and that's the thing that we're all out here being soldiers and fighters and champions of that I think is amazing. So, um, Liz yesterday kind of talked about how she was in, still in the honeymoon stage. I feel like I just got married. I know. I'm super excited. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, um, 
So I'm a little nervous, but I'm more and more excited. And the parts I'm excited about is the exec team and the scientific advisory board are allowing me to really have some input in education and adding clinical aspects um, into the products and also into education. And it's really, really exciting for me because this to me is a personal passion. It's, it's so empowering to watch how many people can truly get well. I've had patients over the years where they, within a month, because they're eating clean, that they're off their rheumatoid arthritis medications or their lupus meds, and that just shows me they were so close to being okay and all they got was just pills. And they were so close to being okay and all we had to do was teach them how to eat. Like that to me is so important because our human bodies are phenomenal machines and it's one job is to heal. So if we get out of its way, it can do that, right? So that's the part that I'm really excited about, yeah. So in closing, I mean, I really, the thing that I really want to kind of impart is, you know, when I started my clinic, no one wanted to talk to me. They thought I was some quack. They either loved me or hated me. And before, it was more like they hated me. And then now, there's a lot more love going on there, which is amazing, because this kind of medicine, I think, when you really put the evidence in front of them, they know that it's real. So um, I really want to just keep encouraging you guys, and I'm really excited to be part of a family where it's, everyone is so impassioned about being soldiers and fighters against chronic disease and really being champions of health and wellness. So I wanna thank you for welcoming me into your family and that now I can finally say it's our family. <laughs>